the foropter. The foropter is the main part for the refinement division of eye examination. The foropter is a complex lens holder designed to allow the examiner to change lenses efficiently and easily. It is consists of four groups of control. First is the lens control. Lens control is the heart of the foropter. It is divided into two, spherical lens control and a minus plano cylinder control. The spherical lens control is divided into three, a weak spherical dial, strong sphere control, and a sphere power scale. A weak spherical dial is a large wheel at each side of the foropter. It enables us to have an increment of 0.25. And this is a strong spherical control. It differs from different foropter brands. For this brand, the increment is by 3. The red colored numbers represent the minus lens and the black represents a plus lens. And this is the minus plano cylinder control. This is the scale. This is the cylinder power knob. It's also by 25. And this is the cylinder axis knob where we rotate the cylindrical axis. The next part of the foropter is the auxiliary lens or the aperture control. The aperture control determines what the patient looks through when behind the foropter. It is consist of O for open, OC for occlude, and it also has a pH for pinhole. Next, we have the ancillary unit. It is called ancillary because it is attached to the foropter. It is usually composed of two or three units that can be rotated in front of the eye. But for this foropter, we only have two. This is the rotary prism or the Riley prism. It has an indicator and a base. Next, we have the Jackson Cross Cylinder or the JCC. It is marked with red and white dots. But for other corruptor, it can also be a green dot. You can flip it over and it is useful in confirming the cylinder axis and cylinder amount of the patient. Last is the adjustment. It is composed of PD knob or pupillary distance knob. It controls or adjusts the PD according to the patient's PD. And we have the leveling knob with spirit level. This is the reading rod holder. And we also have the adjustment for the forehead rest. If you need to move it forward, you just have to rotate it. And if you want to move it backward, just rotate the knob. And this is the back portion of the forepter. This is the place or the part that touches the patient's face. I hope you learned something today. And next video will be a step-by-step -step procedure on subjective refraction. Thank you for listening and watching. God bless and stay safe.